بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم النهارده هنتكلم عن السكند بارت من السمباثاتيك نيرفوس سيستم اتكلمنا قبل كده على الفانكشن بتاع السمباثاتيك للفيزرا في الهيد والنك والثراسيك فيزرا اللونج والهارت واتكلمنا على الابدومينال فيزرا نتكلم النهارده على السمباثاتيك للبلفيك فيزرا وكل اي طبعا اي اوتونوميك نيرف بنتكلم على الاوريجين والريلي والفانكشن بتاعته فيرست الاوريجين بتاع السمباثاتيك للبلفيك فيزرا هيبقى ارايز من اللاترال هول سيل اوف الابر فور لومبر سيجمنتس وهيعمل لي الليزر سبلانكينيك نيرف قلنا الليزر عشان بيروح للبلفيك فيزرا اللي هي بتبقى تحت وسبلانكينيك معناها حشوي او فيزرا ريلي وير لي ات ذا هايبوجاستريك جانجليا ان ذا مان اند انفيريور ميسنتري جانجليا ان ذا انيمال ذيس جانجليا از كولاترال جانجليا What is the function of the sympathetic to pelvic fissure? First, it is vasoconstrictor. As uh, the role of the sympathetic to the uh, blood vessels all over the body, it is vasoconstrictor cause vasoconstriction of the uh, blood vessels of the pelvic fissure that including the external genitalia either in male or female, so cause its shrinkage of these organs. This is the role of the or the uh, 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 normal function of the sympathetic uh, on the blood vessel all over the body mainly vasoconstriction why what why is the alpha receptor why it causes vasodilatation at only three sites first the coronary blood vessel via what via the beta receptor and the accumulation of metabolite Second, it may lead to vasodilatation and the, at the abdominal blood vessel via the beta receptor, and this is only experimentally. And also, uh, vasodilatation of the blood vessels in the animals, not in human, or um, via, uh, uh, vasodilat via the beta receptor and accumulation of metabolites. The second function. Is that the sympathetic uh, to the pelvic viscera cause urine retention? Why or decrease evacuation of the urinary blood? Why? Because it is inhibitory. Means the inhibitory what is meaning by inhibitory cause relaxation of the wall of the bladder, and it is motor or cause contraction of the internal urethral sphincter. يعني ارتخاء الجدار بتاع ال مثانة وانقباض العضلة العاصرة للمثانة internal urethral sphincter this is the sympathetic here to the wall of the urinary bladder cause relaxation while to the internal urethral sphincter this is the sphincter internal urethral sphincter cause its contraction so prevent evacuation The second, the third function, it causes retention of urine. Retention of urine. What is meaning or why retention of urine? Because it causes inhibit inhibition or relaxation of the wall of rectum and the anal canal, and it is motor to or cause contraction of the internal anal sphincter. So it is also a بترخي الجدار وبتعمل انقباض العضلة العاصرة. So here, this is the sympathetic. to the a wall cause relaxation and to the internal internal anal sphincter cause contraction of the internal anal sphincter the third the fourth function is that it causes ejaculation of the semen why due to contraction of the smooth muscle of what of the vas difference 
of the seminal vesicles and the ejaculatory ducts and prostate. The final function uh, uh, in the, on the uterus, in female, may be sometimes inhibitory, cause relaxation of wall of uterus, or cause contraction of wall of uterus, and this is depend on the stage or phase of the menstrual cycle. Now we speak about the last function of sympathetic uh, in the body. The sympathetic two limbs, abdominal and thoracic parietes. What is meaning by parietes? Parietes means walls, thoracic and abdominal walls. First, sympathetic two upper limbs. Uh, they arise from the lateral horn cells of the force to aid the thoracic segment and relay in the middle and lower cervical and the upper two thoracic ganglia. While sympathetic uh, to uh, thoracic and abdominal walls, uh, it is arise from the lateral horn cell of all thoracolumbar segments and relay in the corresponding lateral sympathetic ganglia. While sympathetic to the lower limb arise from the lateral horn cells of the 10th thoracic to 12 lum to, to, uh, two lumbar uh, segments, and it uh, what is now the function of the sympathetic uh, to the limbs and abdominal and thoracic parietes? What is the structure uh, in at these uh, parts, limbs, abdominal, and thoracic parts? They include mainly skin and blood vessels of skeletal muscle. So the uh, function, the first function uh, of the sympathetic to the uh, uh, limbs and abdominal and thoracic parts, first to the blood vessel blood vessel of skeletal muscle cause there is vasodilatation while the beta 2 receptors that present in cat we don't have beta receptor in our blood vessels to the skeletal muscle but also in humans there is a vasodilatation the sympathetic cause vasodilatation of the uh, blood vessel to the skeletal muscle via accumulation of metabolites Now the function of the sympathetic uh, on the skin of the limbs of the limbs of the uh, uh, abdominal and thoracic parts. First, it causes a uh, vasoconstriction of the cutaneous blood vessels. Uh, second, it causes uh, erection of the hair via contraction of the erector belly muscles, and also it is secretory to the sweet glands. We have two types of sweet glands here um, in the skin. Ecrine that present all over the body. The sympathetic supply them via cholinergic means that they, they secrete acetylcholine at these sites. And uh, secretory to the ecrine sweet glands in the uh, soul and the bulb of the uh, food and the epocrine glands and they add these two types of glands they secrete nor adrenaline so here the uh, sympathetic to the uh, sweet glands in the limbus and in the thoracic and the abdominal varieties may be cholinergic <laughs> or adrenergic Cholinergic to the ecrine sweet uh, glands over the body, uh, while it is adrenergic to the ecrine sweet glands in the bulb of the food and epocrine sweet glands in the axilla. So here, what is the function of the sympathetic to the limbs and the abdominal and thoracic parts again? First, to the skin, cause vasoconstriction of the blood vessel of the skin, cause hair erection uh, via contraction or motor to the erector belly muscle, to the sweet glands, uh, increase sweet secretion, either the ecrine cholinergic sweet glands over the body or epocrine sweet glands. 
and also uh, the blood vessels of the skeletal muscle uh, caused uh, vasodilatation via beta receptor in cat and via accumulation of metabolites. So here the function of sympathetic to the uh, uh, thoracic and abdominal parts and limbs first this vasoconstrictor to the cutaneous blood vessels. Second, vasodilator to the skeletal blood vessels in cat via beta 2 receptor and in human via accumulation of metabolite. Third, it is secretory to sweet glands. Either to the sweet crying sweet glands, it is cholinergic or have some adrenergic supply uh, to the eccrine sweet glands in the bottom of the hand and the sole of the foot or epocrine sweet glands present in the axilla and the other parts of the body also it is a motor to the erector belly muscle cause erection of the hair and it caused what is called or belly phenomenon what is orbilly phenomenon? Orbilly means uh, sympathetic stimulation to the skeletal muscle. Lead to three things. First, stronger or better muscle contraction. Second, delayed fatigue. And the third, early recovery from the fatigue after the exercise. What is the cause of the orbilly phenomenon? Uh, that caused by sympathetic stimulation to the skeletal muscle it is has two causes due to acceleration of the chemical reactions in the active muscle and vasodilatation of the skeletal blood vessels now we speak about the, uh, what is called alarm or stress response what is the definition or by meaning of stress response? It means that generalized sympathetic stimulation that occur in the conditions of emergency or emotional stress. So, so alarm or stress response, it is generalized sympathetic stimulation due to occurrence of stress or emotions. Sometimes this uh, sympathetic system uh, called a system of fight or fright or flight cf or called emergency system this is here the fight or flight or flight what is the uh, uh, what is the effects occurring in the alarm response from above down world in our body First, mental activity increased the increased alert and mental activity. Second, the eye changes. Here in the stress response, we speak about the uh, previous mentioned uh, sympathetic actions that mentioned with its part of the sympathetic. So here, eye changes, including the dilatation of the pupil due to the contraction of the dilator pupil muscle and the retraction of the upper eyelid due to contraction of the superior and inferior tarsi muscle cause retraction of the upper and lower eyelid and the of sinus due to contraction of the molar muscles in cat not in human also there is cardiovascular changes that uh, as we mentioned previously, sympathetic increase all probabilities of the heart, increase all probabilities of the heart. And it causes increase the blood pressure via generalized vasoconstriction and increase the pumping power of the heart. Also, it uh, leads to redistribution of the blood supply to the organs. How? It increases the blood flow to the active organs like active muscle and organs like brain heart while decrease the blood flow to the less active organs like the splanchnic area so it called it uh, redistribute the blood to the uh, different organs of the body also it causes vasodilatation of skeletal and the coronary blood vessel by accumulation of metabolites and it increased blood flow to the brain to increase the alertness and mental activity and it caused contraction of the blood reservoir like spleen 
to pushing the stored part of blood in them and also cause vasoconstriction of the splanchnic blood vessel. Now the respiratory changes, it cause dilatation of, of bronchi and bronchiole and also cause a increased respiratory rate. What is about the gastric, gastrointestinal changes? It decreases activity of the gastrointestinal tract via decreased evacuation because it is inhibitory or cause relaxation of the wall of the gastrointestinal tract while it uh, cause contraction of the uh, sphincters. Uh, and also it causes blood changes. It increases the rate of blood coagulation, so increase the fibrinogen. Also, there are metabolic changes like increased cellular metabolism all over the body and increased circulatory catecholamines uh, via stimulation of the adrenal medulla to release uh, uh, 80% of adrenaline and 20% of noradrenaline and it causes uh, glucogenolysis so it increases the uh, transformation of the uh, liver glycogen into blood glucose. Also, it stimulates the sweet glands all over the body, either eocrine or epocrine, so increase sweet secretion, and this is sweet help to lower the body temperature. And also, it uh, causes the orbelli phenomenon. With, uh, as we mentioned, uh, what is meaning by orbelli phenomenon means that uh, sympathetic stimulation to the skeletal a muscle lead to three changes. First, they increase the strength of the muscle contraction and delay the onset of fatigue and early recovery from fatigue. Thank you.